So you have already performed port forwarding but your Helium hotspot is still relayed. What should you do? In this video we will discuss some advanced troubleshooting techniques and try to take your Helium hotspot out of relay. Hey folks, this is Roy and welcome back to my channel Eigentech. Alright, let us first do a quick recap of the problem. What does a relayed hotspot mean? It means that your Helium hotspot is not directly connected to the peer-to-peer -peer Helium network. In other words, all outbound connections are fine, but any inbound connection from other Helium hotspot in the internet is blocked by the firewall of your router. So there is no inbound connection and this situation is called relayed. And this situation degrades the performance of your Helium hotspot. In other words, you earn less HNT. And the solution to solve this problem is to perform port forwarding. To perform port forwarding, you first need to know the IP address. It cannot be done to any random IP address. It has to be the IP address of your Helium miner. So the first question is how to find the IP address of your miner. The easiest solution is to perform the diagnostic report and in the report you will see there is an entry which says IP address and this is the address to which you have to perform the port forwarding. Uh, if you don't perform the diagnostic report you can directly go to your router settings and find out the Helium hotspot. In my case it actually the name was Helium hotspot it, it was a rack miner but in your case it might not might have a different name or it might show up as a a MAC address as well. To get the MAC address again you can look at your diagnostics report where you will see there is um, there are Wi-Fi MAC address and Ethernet MAC address and in other cases your hotspot might have a sticker uh, showing the Wi-Fi and Ethernet MAC address. In that case it will be very easy to find out which is your uh, Helium hotspot. But note that you have to perform the port forwarding irrespective of whether your hotspot is connected through Wi-Fi or Ethernet. I have described how to perform port forwarding in a different video. You will find the link in the description as well as at the top right corner. And you should definitely check that out before performing advanced troubleshooting which I have discussed in this video. So after performing the port forwarding, the first thing to check is to ensure that this has been configured correctly. For that, go to your favorite browser and type portchecker.co. I will leave the link in the description. Uh, it will automatically load your public IP address and all you need to do is type 44158 here and click on check. If the port is open, you are good to go. Uh, if the port is closed, that means it has not been configured correctly and then you have to revisit the settings and I will talk about some advanced troubleshooting uh, in a moment. Uh, there is another site you can use which is ugetsignal.com and, uh, and I will leave the link in the description as well. So after uh, performing the port forwarding, there are a few important points to remember. First, forward port 44158 only. Uh, and you should turn off the UPnP which stands for Universal Plug and Play because it sometimes messes up with your settings. Uh, however, if uh, you didn't turn it off and your Helium hotspot is uh, not relayed, you shouldn't worry about it. Uh, but if it's uh, relayed and you are performing port forwarding, you should turn that settings off. Next, do not port forward 443 and 22. These ports are required for outbound traffic only. Uh, and by default, the outbound traffic is always open through your router. If you still want to ensure it, you can go to your browser and type uh, portquiz.net colon 443 and it will show you that you have reached this page on port 443 that means your outbound traffic is allowed there is no problem with that then however if you still port forward these two ports what will happen that there are plenty of botnets that scan for open ports and try basic passwords to gain access of your network and that is a security threat so you should not do it then some of the routers require restarting so that the changes you uh, the changes you made uh, are actually applied so it's a good idea to restart both your router and the hotspot after performing the port forwarding so let's say uh, you still you performed all these steps but your port is still closed so what is the solution so now we'll dig deeper into the problem and there might be other complications and try to sort out those so let us check out the first scenario 
so usually the common settings is you will have a modem come router at your home which is connected to the internet through some internet service pro service provider and your helium miner is connected to the modem in that case your miner will have a private ip for example 10.1.10.100 and your modem will have a public ip and all you need to do is forward port 44158 to this ip address however in some situations you might have a separate modem which is connected to the isp then there is a router and your miner is connected to the router in this case what you should do you you should use the modem in the in the bridge mode what it means is that the modem directly routes all the internet to the router and your router has a public ip and in that case you simply assign our port forward 44158 to the private id of your miner uh, the second situation is that your modem might not be in the bridge mode in that case the modem will assign a private ip to the router and your router will assign a separate private ip for the miner so this is a complicated situation in this case what you need to do is for, uh, forward port 44158 first to the router using the uh, to the private ip address of the router and then perform another port forwarding on this router uh, to the ip address of the miner so it's a double port forwarding and that is the correct configuration so that your miner gets out of relay next the complication uh, complicated set of two you might have double router in your home what that what that means is that uh, the first router is connected to the internet service provider and the second router could be used in two ways first if it is used as a switch or access point uh, in this case you can simply think that this router almost doesn't exist and uh, your private ip for the miner is assigned by, by the first router so you have to perform port forwarding uh, on the first uh, router uh, to the private address of the miner and the second case is uh, if your uh, second router is also used as a uh, is not used as a switch and acts as another router uh, so this is kind of a double nat situation in this case the first router assigns a private ip for the second router and the second router assigns a private ip for the uh, for the miner the situation is similar to the previous case when you had a modem plus router so uh, you need to port forward uh, 44158 to the private ip address of the second router and on the second router you have to perform port forwarding to the private ip address of the helium miner so the meaning of this double port forwarding is to essentially create a tunnel between the internet and your miner any information or message coming to the port 44158 will be directly routed to your miner and that will allow your helium hotspot to get connected to the helium's peer to peer network so let's say you performed all these settings and your port is now really open and you could verify using the tool that i showed you earlier but still if when you go back to the explorer helium explorer map it shows that your hotspot is relayed so what can you do now Uh, you can come back and check the diagnostic report and there might be two options uh, the first one is that you will find that your outbound both outbound and inbound connections are okay uh, which means the settings has been probably applied correctly uh, but you have to still wait and another case would be the outbound connection is fine but the inbound is blocked so this uh, this happens right after applying the port forwarding because the network has not detected it properly so usually what you need to do you have to wait for several hours uh, before the helium network can really uh, detect that your hotspot is no longer relayed and it could reach it uh, using the port 44158 uh, sometimes it can also take even 12 hours uh, it depends uh, the other situation could be that when you perform the diagnostic report you see that there is no inbound and outbound connection Uh, if it happens right after performing the port forwarding you should give it a, a few minutes maybe 1 hour and recheck it after that if you still find you in the same situation you should check your internet connection it, it could mean that the hotspot doesn't have internet connectivity if it is plugged through ethernet uh, you will know uh, using any other device uh, connected to the same network uh, if it is connected to wifi what i would uh, say what i would suggest that you place your mobile phone at the location of the hotspot and check internet speed uh, uh, and uh, that will tell you whether there is proper internet connection or not 
Another point is that the relayed information is not usually correct during the syncing phase. By, by that what I mean that when you purchase first purchase your helium hotspot and it is, uh, it is performing its in initial syncing stage. Uh, this information is not accurate so you have to wait until it's fully synced so that it correctly shows you the uh, relate status uh, then let's say you have waited for a few hours it still shows you relate on the explorer page whether there is another option to check it uh, so i have learned that the helium api is faster so you can use that so for that go to your browser and you have to first find out the uh, address of your hotspot so we go to, we go to explorer.helium.com slash coverage and then you can type the hotspot name i will just uh, randomly choose a hotspot uh, and let's say this one and check whether it's relayed or not so so this one is relayed so what you need to do you can you need to copy this address which is the address of the hotspot and uh, go to uh, and you have to type api.helium.io slash v1 slash hotspots then you have to paste this address and hit enter so if you see something like p2p here uh, that means uh, this hotspot is uh, is still in the relate status if it's out of relate you will not see any p2p in the listen address inside the listen address field and you can see here it says IPv4, some IP address and TCP is listening through port 44158. Uh, if you are using some other browser, it might uh, might not show as nicely as parsed like this. I'm using Mozilla Firefox here. In that case, you can simply uh, search for uh, P2P and it will highlight the, sorry, it, it is not here. So in this one, you just search for P2P and it will highlight you whether it's present or not. If it's present, then it's still relate. If it's not present it is not related and uh, usually i have learned that the api uh, helium api is updated faster uh, before the explorer uh, helium explorer is updated so that is another way to check it so i hope that after performing all of this your uh, helium hotspot will become unrelated and uh, it will become happy so the most important part here is that you have to make sure that the port 44158 is really open once you do that uh, the network will take some time and it, your hotspot will definitely become unrelated. However, uh, let's say you did everything and your uh, port is not open or for whatever reason your Helium hotspot is still relayed. That is not the end of the world. Uh, so it is because relayed won't really matter once the validators are validators completely take over and they start performing the uh, calculations regarding the POC or proof of coverage challenges. At that point, it will not matter, matter whether your Helium hotspot is directly connected to the peer-to-peer -peer network or not. So if you have tried everything or if you have some other situation where you cannot perform the port forwarding uh, or you have some um, cellular network and you do not have access to a public IP address, you will not be able to perform port forwarding or get out of relay. And in that case, you can just continue doing uh, whatever current situation you have. I hope this information will help you in getting your Helium hotspot out of relay and improve the HNT earnings. If you have any more question, let me know in the comment section. That's all for today. Thanks for watching guys and get cryptonized.